Uh, <clears throat> good morning, everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, June 5th. And um, surprise, surprise, it is another cloudy, cold day. And it's actually it's misty. You know, standing out here getting wet. Um, you just can't catch a break. You get one or two days of sun, and then it disappears again for another week. And, uh, you know, take whatever sun we can get, but here in SoCal we get uh, May gray and we get June gloom, but this is ridiculous, you know. I, I haven't seen it this bad before, but let's see how the plants do. Uh, this is the blue cream tomato. This is the pink bumblebee tomato. It's already got a few tomatoes on there. You see a few a few open flowers. Uh, da -da, a yellow squash. Again, see everything is female blossoms. Female blossoms. Female blossoms. I can't get any male blossoms. Uh, same thing with this one. I, I, I cut off the top because I'm just going to get rid of this one. Um... I got one yellow squash growing right now. And I got a couple male flowers there you can see. Uh, you know, got two pollinated right there. But yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this plant because I got another yellow. I'll show you guys what I did right now. But first of all, here's the pumpkins, guys. They popped up. So this is a Lakota squash. I planted three seeds, only one popped up. Uh, you know, which is fine. That's where you plant more, just in case some don't pop up. This is the cargos. See all three, I planted three, all three cargos popped up. That's good. Put three more cargos in here, they all popped up, so that's good. But, uh, I don't know, this, see this one's kind of like, like an any or an Audi. It's like folding in on itself, the inner part. Uh, so, I don't know about that. <laughs> and you can see all of these volunteer tomatoes sprouting because when i had the soil over there i said you know i took all the tomatoes that had fallen down or were chewed up by the rats and just threw them in there and now the seeds are starting to germinate this here is the uh, cinderella pumpkin with the rouge vif de temps uh planted four seeds four and only one cop came up so that's you know really poor germination rate uh this was the fairy tale uh, muscade de provence i planted three seeds only one only one came up and this is from the same seed i've had for the last three years so uh as long as one germinates it's fine same thing over here i planted three seeds only two came up which you know and they're both looking good uh I'll probably keep the middle one get rid of that one and over here I planted three blaze pumpkins and all three came up uh, so that's good uh, you can see I already cleared up the volunteer tomatoes popping up out of these those all I gotta clean up real quick and um, you can uh, the cargos are the only ones that are having that folding in on itself issue the other ones are just fine uh, yeah you know, I watered last yesterday, I, and uh, you can see uh, my peppers. Uh, what was gonna say? You can see everything's all wet because of the mist. Uh, I buried a whole bunch of rotten kitchen scraps under the, you know, in here. Let the worms go to town. Uh, you know, but the tomatoes are, are doing okay, I guess. They're doing better than they were last year, you know, with this kind of weather. Maybe it's because, uh, you know, this, this, the soil is a lot more healthier. But, you know, that's my red red beef steak. That's my Cherokee purple. You can see it's got tomato growing on there. The other ones are having trouble getting pollinated because it's so cold. This is my German green. The green zebra. That one's got a few tomatoes growing already as well. Uh, like I said, I extended the raised bed. And I put two zucchinis here. And 
did was my other raised bed, the first one. That was a yellow squash. And then I had another one, which I thought was a green, which is another zucchini growing here. And as it started to grow out, I started to see little little balls. So it wasn't, sorry, it wasn't a zucchini. It was something else. It was probably one of the previous uh, pumpkins that I had thrown in here. You know, and I accidentally picked the wrong one out of the ones that sprouted. So I just ripped it out and I put three new seeds in there. So by the time those two are done, you know, this one will be going and then that one will come up. So it's good to stagger them. That way you have a constant supply of squash. But man, I'm getting wet standing out here. Uh, so yeah, this is a German green. My sun gold. Man, look at that thing. It's almost as tall as I am already. Uh, I'm just letting a lot of uh, suckers grow. But then, you know, also cutting a lot back. Cherokee purple and big rainbow i think i mistakenly called it german green in the previous video but it's a big rainbow but that's it guys that's the garden so far pumpkins are up and uh, i know some of you guys got your pumpkins going as well so i'll be watching those videos but uh thanks for watching